good morning good morning all of you uh, guys i just requested uh, uh, second hour strength of materials uh, professor okay so to give his class to strength of materials i mean sorry structure analysis professor to give his class to strength of materials okay so sir accepted uh, you can uh, log in as usual and i will take the second hour okay through sir's credentials okay <clears throat> so anyway our class is there till 10:30 so let us continue for 20 minutes uh, uh, with this session okay and uh, you can come for the second hour for the same subject guys is it audible please respond anyone yes sir yeah okay <clears throat> okay uh, so we'll start the session right so good morning all so so in the previous class you have noted this problem right what is that uh, is it second one or third one so i think third one right isn't it so third question note chesama and we didn't uh, answer that right emma and the problem note chesaru kada everyone so have you noted this problem third one guys so please respond shall i start solving this okay uh, anyway so you see uh, so here the problem is stating that so here we are supposed to compare the resilience of a closed coil helical spring of a square section with that of a circular section right so i think in the previous class we have mentioned all the formulas which are related to closed coil and open coil helical spring so here what we have to prove so the actual weight of the closed coil circular section of the spring so which is having with the given diameter is 1.36 times strong than the square section and the circular section is going to absorb energy of 1.62 times than the square section okay so that is how the problem was stated so here we are going to prove okay uh, with with respect to energy absorbed by the helical springs okay so which one is better okay whether the circular section is better or the square section is better so with this comparison we are going to prove it okay so let's start the problem hmm. so tell me what is the given data so nothing is given only just a comparison of two springs was given clearly okay so let's write let b is equal to so the length of each side of the square so why because uh, square springs will have sides of the same width and depth isn't it so let us take b as length of each side of the square okay so this is the dimension of the square spring in the same way let's take d is equal to 
diameter of diameter of circular section right so because nothing is given no dimensions were given so we take b as a width and depth of the square section and d as a diameter of the circular section so now let's calculate what is the work absorbed by the square spring work absorbed by the square spring okay so can you tell me what is the energy or work done by the square spring what is the work done by the square spring amma half into torque into theta right is equal to half into so what is uh, torque of a square spring i think in the previous class i told you clearly the torque of the square spring is 0.208 b cube into shear stress isn't it so write the same here which is 0.208 b cube into shear stress into what is the theta of a square spring what is theta of the square spring 7.11 t into l by n b power 4 okay so this is the work done by the square spring right so solve it so what we'll get which is 0.208 Solve it, Amma. Point two zero eight Fs B cube by two into seven point one one L by n B power four of zero point two zero eight Fs Into B cube, right? Why? Because here also there is a theta, so this theta should also write in this form, okay? So as sorry, this torque should also write in this form. So by that, this is the final relation, right? Okay. So still solve it. Point one five four F S square B square Into L by N, isn't it clear? So it can be written as point one five four F S square by N into into what? So can anyone tell me what is this B square into L? What is volume. this B square into L? Volume. Very good. B square into L is nothing but volume of the square, right? so it can be written as volume right so finally the work absorbed by the square spring is 0.154 fs square by n into v so v stands for volume okay which is b square into l clear so this is how we have to write the work done or a resilience of a square spring okay so work done can also be written as what Work done, Eman Raichama. It can also be denoted as resilience. What do you mean resilience? It can also be represented as strain energy, right? So now let me write that. So the finally, hence, resilience of square spring is equal to what? Point one five four. F S square by n. Okay. So what happened to volume? What happened to volume? Work absorbed by the square spring is point one five four F S square by n into v, isn't it? Then what will be the resilience? 
what is the formula of resilience amma can anyone tell me what is the formula of resilience resilience is equal to what energy absorbed by volume right so by that your resilience will be energy absorbed into volume by volume will become 0.154 fs square by n okay that's it so by that your volume won't be there in the formula so this is the resilience of the square spring similarly let do the what is energy absorbed by the circular spring solid circular spring also okay let's do that hmm let's do this similarly for a solid circular section so what is energy absorbed do it for this right now what is energy absorbed by the solid spring work absorbed or energy absorbed is equal to half into torque into theta half into torque into what is theta theta can be written as t l by n j right sir how because you know the torch torque equation of a solid circular section t by j is equal to g theta by l unda do you remember this formula ma from this you can write theta as t l by n into j n anna g anna c anna okay okay so with this relation we can write this isn't it so now still write half into what is torque what is torque of a circular section amma f s into pi d cube by 16 square so this is the torque of a circular section into l by n into pi by 32 d power 4 why because j is nothing but what j is nothing but polar moment of inertia okay pi d power 4 by 32 so here torque square so what is torque of the circular section so which is t is equal to fs pi d cube by 16 okay so which is square of that kabatti so this is so finally it can be written as f s square by n into pi d square into l by 16 isn't it clear right so finally it can be written as 1 by 4 times of f s square by n into what is pi d square into l amma what is pi d square into l anyone what is pi d square into l volume sir again okay so what is that volume of a circular shaft okay so v is equal to here volume of circular section circle so which is pi d square into l okay so by that you can return as you can write sir sorry kind of force on sir pi by 4 d square into l adhe amma pi by 4 d square into l sorry pi d square by 4 into l so that 4 will i mean 4 times of 4 gabatte 1 by 4 times of f square by n into v right sorry ikkada pi d square by 4 clear right so finally 
फाइनली एफ एस स्क्वेर इंटू वी बाई फोर एल ओके सो दिस इज एनर्जी ऑब्जॉर्ब बाय एनर्जी ऑब्जॉर्ब बाय सर्कुलर सेक्शन ओके वन सेकेंड प्लेसमेंट ऑफिसर अकड़ गया इधर ले रहा वाले चाहिए वरण प्लेसमेंट ऑफिसर अंक मैं अशोक सर चाहिए अशोक सर ले आये साइन चाहिए अब नीचे उन्हें अन्य का दिल्ली तो तो नाइनटीन ले बैठ जाते हैं नाइनटीन को उन्हें हम्म नाइनटीन का ट्वेंटी नीचे उन्हें जाते हैं ट्वेंटी ले लिया बच्ची अन्य आशुक सर हाँ आशुक सर चेंज चेंज हुआ मंदिर के लिए दाखड़ा आशुक सर से भी शायद नहीं थी चुपता हम्म ओके सो दिस इज़ द एनर्जी ऑब्जर्व्ड बाय द सर्कुलर स Uh, can you tell me what is the resilience of a square section? Um, sorry, circular section. Resilience of a circular section. And the one by four and ten the point two five fs square by yeah okay. So this is the resilience of a circular section, right? Okay, so now what we have to do? Problem name madi garu. Compare the resilience of a closed coil and and closed coil circular spring and closed coil square spring. Okay, now we have to compare the resilience of these two. Okay, so let me write a new page. Uh, so now, what is the resilience of a circular section? Resilience of a circular section by so because we have to compare both the resilances isn't it one second resilience of a square section right so what is the resilience of a circular section what is the value you got which is 0.25 times and what is resilience of a circular section i mean square section which is 0.154 okay so what is the comparison of these two what is the ratio of circular section to square section which is 1.62 okay so just see your question question aim it charge apne in the question it was clearly given circular section helical spring of the given dia is 1.36 times as strong and will absorb 1.62 times as much energy as square section on so what is the value you got same right isn't it so point sir 1.62 times energy absorbed by the square section this is the standard formula where you have to remember okay for the all competitive exams understand so you can write resilience of circular section will be equal to 1.62 times of resilience of square section okay very very important clear so this is what we have to remember the formula ma direct ga so that one we achieved by solving with the clear statements okay right in the same way let us see what will be the diameter whether it is 1.3236 times or not just we will try to compare it okay so guys so please log in into uh, balakrishna sir session so there i will take the class okay sir hello hello avuna right ne whatsapp lo log in avvachu aithe अच्छे स्टूडेंट अंदर अडमिटी नागिन अवता ओके रईट सर ओके
okay guys understood so now uh, we will try to do the next one so what will be the circular section helical spring dia is whether it is 1.36 times as the as strong a kadanand we will just see with the further uh, explanation okay